please like and subscribe if you're returning welcome back so uh, we just picked up the gt500 uh, on rally day morning of the rally the ppf took forever the last couple days and also the graphics got a uh, got the team shirts we're here at round rock donuts if you're not from texas or going about round rock donuts you know that it has to be a stop so this is officially unofficially our first stop of the rally we're not even on the rally yet so uh, we're actually probably running a little bit late but uh it's fine i think we'll be okay car looks good i love the reflective decals i think it looks great but yeah like i said we uh we had to had to get some round our guns and they're packed per usual on a on a saturday morning so they've arrived donuts have arrived where's kevin getting coffee getting coffee he went to have his legs shrunk yeah kevin <laughs> we're luckily we're fortunate enough to be in the front of the car and they're uh, they're kind of in the back and uh, i don't mind it though i fit perfectly yeah she says she's fit fine but uh old boy kevin He's a little bit on the heavier side and uh, he's tall too, so he's got his neck pressed up against the glass and his legs are, you know. It's gonna be nice because I can actually get like a real world review of driving in the rear seats. Like how, how is it to be a passenger in this car? So what's up? We are uh, downtown Austin. We just showed up for the the rally. Pretty decent turnout, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool supercars. Uh, yeah, we have like 30 minutes till we leave. So we're all filled up, we've got donuts, we've got yeah, it should be fun. What's up guys? So uh, quick update, we've gone what, like 10 miles in 20 minutes? We're just uh, chilling on the side of the road. We're like one of the like the first group that took off. And so I guess they pulled over because like the app they're uh, supposed to show, shows to use is not, uh, not even working right, so.
So, uh, stop number one. Uh, we're at Bucky's Bash Rock. Kevin's slipping his face. He's trying to, you know, stretch out the neck from being back there in the in the back seat. But uh, Andrea's doing great. Yeah, it's fine. I like it. She's not complaining. So, Kev Kevin's not either. Kevin's Kevin's taking it like a champ. But we're only what an hour in. Yeah, I'm having that, fun. So. I'm having a great time. BMW's decided to show up. Get it? It's kind of funny. We got all those McLarens and R8s and stuff over there, and random uh, C8 pulls up, and it draws a crowd. Still, it's kind of funny. Looks good though. So that's pretty cool. We uh, ran into some Corvette guys. One of the guys from uh, Corvette Invasion that uh, we actually unveiled the split window at last year. And then uh, even Judah ran into somebody that he knew from the DFW area. So car community is uh, it's large, but it's, it's a small community for sure. So we're about to leave. We've been here for a little, how long have we been here? I want to say uh, too long. The best feature about the GT500 is the uh, the massagers. For sure. We're on this little back road. Uh, one dude already got pulled over doing 112, and he got a ticket. And uh, I don't know where he went. But there's a couple cars way up ahead. I don't know if you can see him. Shout out to the Waze app for telling us where all the cops are because that's that's coming in big right now. And uh, dude is on top of that, so yeah, it does feel good, Kevin. I'm not even gonna lie. That feels great. Yeah. What's up guys? So we are in Houston. It's a little uh, a little past five and uh, we're at Pluckers. So uh, we made it to the final destination and parking was kind of crammed and uh, we had made reservations for Pluckers like 40 minutes out from Houston. Um, so we just decided to come straight here. So everybody's over there, literally like three minutes from here, but we decided to get wings because Kevin earned the wings. Uh, this bar is like, or this Pluckers is far more better than what we were at. We're at the other bar and it's too crowded. We like bars. <laughs> uh, too many V8s there for him. That's what happens. He's a uh, four-cylinder, four-cylinder guy. Four-cylinder four fanatic. What was the best car that you saw today? Oh, no. if, you had, if you had to pick one. The if Prius, I had to pick one? The Prius that was um, next to us. That's a good question. Uh, yeah, the Prius, okay. Give me time to think. Back Lambo was, it was, it was mint, but I mean, it was just perfect. It was not at yeah. every angle. But uh, but the R8, I think uh, between the both of them, I, they just had me, they had me in love. And rethinking the whole my next car thing. Judah also has a spot in line uh, for a seat as well, but he's looking at when maybe end of the year, maybe if you're lucky. I'm lucky, yeah. So yeah. he's considering, next year. Next year. yeah, next year. So he's considering new options. Drop a comment, tell him what he should get. Uh, I really like the Vipers, actually, but since I'm a Ford girl, I have to say the car that we rode here. Okay, good answer. Kevin's, Kevin, I feel like Kevin got pressured into what he's about to say. Judah said, Judah said that, that, uh, that Huracan Lamborghini 
and I forgot about it because that one you can ask my wife. I like out of all the Lamborghinis, I like the Huracan. That'd be like an everyday driver for me if I wanted to pick one. Um, man, I mean the R8s are nice. Um, I'm gonna say that BMW. If anything, BMW was nice. Yeah. The M6 was, it sounded really nice. The black one or the blue one? No, the blue one. The, the oh. straight pipe, the black one was too much. I mean, I guess the way that they were driving it kind of killed it for me, but uh, the blue one, definitely. It was nice. Being the only family guy here right now, I think that's the, the right choice. Mm -hmm. Four door. It's a fast four door car, that's good. Very fast. That's good. Well, one of the M6s that we're talking about, this dude was literally driving faster than anybody out there. It's a straight pipe M6, and he got pulled over going 112. He got a ticket. And uh, at one point, we see him fly by us, and then like two minutes later, he's coming the opposite direction, like across the highway. Like, I don't even know how he got there, but he did it. And we had a, we had a truck, it looked like blow a tire. He was doing some, some drag racing with the, with the Corvette. It was that twin turbo F-150. It looked like he blew a tire, so. You wanna see me put it in? <laughs> oh, okay. How's the back seat, Kevin? It's not bad, dude. I'm taller, but anybody who's shorter than 5'12 will definitely enjoy it. It is about 9.30 and uh, we are back to stop number one, which is Bucky's. And uh, I think we're all a little bit tired, but the drive hasn't been too bad, honestly. The car's, the car's been great. Um, fuel mileage isn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, this has, just has a small tank, 16, 16 gallon tank. And I think it just feels like, since you fill up all the time, it feels like the gas mileage is bad. But uh, I enjoyed it. I mean, I had a, I had a great time. Kevin, how was the rear? How are the rear seats, Kevin? Rear seats are, um, they're, they're good. They're comfortable, they're stable. They're, I mean, you're in there and you, you feel good for the drive, but don't wow. recommend anybody who is uh, 5'11". 5'12". And 5'12 is what I said, but 5'11". Uh, <laughs> and um, taller because you're gonna be hitting your head. I ha if I sit up straight, I have to bend my, so it's either, you gotta pick either your neck or your back, whether, wh what pain you want. So you pick and choose which one you want. The only thing is that there's no like headrest back there if you're over a certain height, so. So if the driver is like, you know, gunning it and stuff, it definitely, you know, you hit your head on this like, like yeah, at one point there. earlier on in the day, Kevin, I saw Kevin's neck go back in the mirror, and I was like, dude, this this dude's about to break the back window with his head. It was totally worth it because I was able to see all these cars and great community, and I love I love, love, I love the opportunity to be able around to be around a bunch of cars. That was that was great. So it made up for being like this. And uh, in case you're wondering, Judah died, but uh, he told us to say that he died. I don't know why. <laughs> Did you die emotionally or you're like, you I'm just tired. He's tired. But don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm rejoicing on the inside. How's the front seat? Cause I got the front seat. <laughs> Not like uh, the peasants over here at the car. <laughs> peasants. <laughs> but now it's cool. We had a couple of EMS people come over that, I guess heard on the radio earlier, there's a bunch of cars going through, through town and they came to talk to us and asked kind of what was going on. So they're, they're pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.